and uh, we're here with Troy Baker, the voice of Batman. Greetings. Greetings. And we have a couple questions if you don't mind. Fire away. You have starred in a number of animated roles over the years, providing the voice of various iconic characters. Okay. What have been some of your favorite roles and why? Honestly, i got to say this is one of the biggest. To be able to be Batman, which, you know, growing up as a kid, I'm a huge comic book fan. Uh, and Batman is an iconic character. There's, there's very few, you know, even more so than Superman. More of an iconic character than that. And to be able to be the one to, to, to put a voice to the first Lego game, the Lego movie, is a huge honor. It was kind of scary, too, because it was like, don't blow it, kid. You <laughs> know, we're kind of basing it all on you. But honestly, it was such a good writing. And the story's fantastic, and to be able to work with friends on it, it was a cakewalk. It was some of the most fun sessions I've ever had in my life. You provide the voice of Batman and Lego Batman the movie, as well as Two Face, Astro, Brainiac, and Hawkman. Yep. What was it like to start the voice of such an iconic character? Who would you say is your favorite actor to ever play the Dark Knight and why? I'm a huge fan of Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy is my, is my Batman. Uh, but I love each iteration of that. There's things about Michael Keaton playing Batman that I like. There's things about Christian Bale that I like. For this, we wanted to approach it a little bit differently. And we kind of just created something new. I mean, we, we didn't have to. You know, Lego games are kind of a parody of whatever property they're honoring. Um, so we wanted to make sure that, that the story was what was the parody, not necessarily that I was you know, doing whatever it is. Or anything like that. So it was a fun process of kind of coming to that conclusion. Just letting Batman be Batman. Thank you very much. Thank you.